It's time for Interactive. Download the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store and watch a variety of live sporting action, including the ongoing Africa Cup of Nations and the Winter Youth Olympic Games, where three Jamaicans and a Puerto Rican are representing the region in Korea. Also, check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube. And remember, in case you missed it, is now on Sportsmax, CTV and YouTube this week. Mariah spoke with the head coach of Jamaica's national senior men's football team, Jaime Hal Grimson. Please do, coach, because that passion, of course, as I said, comes from a place of care. Are you pleased with what you've been able to achieve with this team so far, with the little time? No, I can't say. Uh, I wish we, we were in, a, in a, a little bit better place in, in everything. Uh, but I know as well that you know, the, what, what I have to work with and what the JF has to work with, I need to be respectful that you know, things will take time to develop and change. I think in the past, uh, the, the growth, especially in, in, in the infrastructure, has been slow yeah. and the pandemic hit really bad here in Jamaica. So we just need to be respectful of the situation and work with what we have. But Yeah, Mariah with Mr. Hal Grimson. You'll definitely want to see that one. Of course, Mariah took an early day today. Probably has a party later on or something. All right, it's time to show you the nominations for this week's Sportsmax Class Moment. Thirty-five kilometers an hour, and say hit that. Oh. Oh, what oh, a no. catch! The most brilliant reflex action from the lackadaisical Jack Edwards. Cracker Jacks had quite the night. <laughs> Is that a beauty in the field, hasn't he? It's made a huge difference for the Sydney Sixers and I'll tell you what, catches win matches. Look at that, that is an absolute <laughs> stunner. Well, we put that one in the highlight reel, not even for just this year, next year. It's one That's of the best that pressing that the pressing is just it's, it's amazing really you can see they've worked out their game plan their, their strategy is working for them and if they continue doing this they're definitely definitely going to have a, a oh, field tonight. Oh! how good was that for his second but the offside flag denies him a brace in the opening half an incredible finish oh and I suspect the assistant referee has got it just right. There is VAR in operation at both these, at all these matches. But that was sensational. Experienced cricketer, and he's on the biggest stage at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Beautifully done. First ball, first <laughs> wicket. What a start. <laughs> Amazing, amazing first delivery in test cricket. The great Steve Smith edges straight to second slip. Well, that will go on the record books for that young man and what a start to his career. Steve Smith, edged and taken, what a start. De Bruyne. Oh, he's picked out Oscar Ball! City win it! KDB, a goal, an assist, and Oscar Ball with his first ever Premier League goal. And the champions have found a way to win. Well, there's a statement. The nominations extremely strong on this fantastic Friday lands for the Sportsmax class moment. Um, tough one, although it's not really a tough one. Um, brilliant big bash catch yes. um, by Edward. That was a fabulous catch. Great goal in Afghan. Um, I rather enjoy that, although it was disallowed for offside. That's the best non-goal I've seen yes. ever. It was tremendous. Um, and Bob with a brilliant finish as well in the EPL. But 
there can only be one winner. Shamar Joseph. The uh, Guyanese fast bowler. Yeah, und undeniable, undeniable. The moment was, was euphoric and um, four good um, contenders for the Sportsmaster class moment this week. But uh, Shamar Joseph uh, aces it for, for me, but he has, he has beaten a good group of contenders. But again, it speaks to how good Shamar Joseph was this week. And to dismiss Steve Smith, one of the best batsmen um, in the game currently, one of the greats of the game, first ball of your test career is immense yeah. on the part of Shamar Joseph. And, and you spoke about his star quality, um, Lance. Faz spoke about it as well. And that by the end of the second day of this test match, maybe even after the first day, yes. he was the one being applauded off the park by the Australian fans. And incidentally, when he went to South Africa on the A-team tour, a similar thing happened there as well. And when he arrived in Australia, when he played the warm-up match, he was speaking about a number of kids coming up to him and saying that, and had pictures of him performing in South Africa and asking him um, to sign. So this guy is already a superstar and he's, he's not played 10 first-class matches yet. You know, no, he Lance. hasn't, yeah. Wow, incredible. Mm. Mm. X was Tinder's all-rounder Deandra Dottin posted this on X. She says, I said this one year ago, one year and six months ago, and no one adhered to what I said. So here it is. Now tell me, doesn't it look like something's wrong? Yeah, and she's responding to the fact that four West Indies women cricketers retired from the international game or announced their retirement yesterday, led by Anissa Mohammed, um, twin sisters Kaisia and Kaishona Knight in that list as well, as well as Shakira Selman. What do you make of this, Lance? Well, Anissa was always going to retire soon. Um, I think Shakira has had some injuries and so on, and those aren't. But the Kaisia night and Kishona night uh, double for me was a little bit unexpected. They're only 31 years old and to me still have a lot to offer. But there were things that Deandra Dottin had been upset about or uncomfortable about in the West Indies setup that she didn't elaborate on. And I think she's trying to highlight that there's something in their environment of the West Indies women's team at the moment that isn't conducive to, to growth of the team and efficient performances. But you'd have to explain what, what, what those are because we, we, are, we aren't sure. Yeah, I know she probably won't, but I'll say the same thing to her that I said to the reggae girls at some points last year that she should come forward and have a conversation with us here on the Sports Mag Zone and let's hear what she thinks is really going on and why she felt um, a year and six months ago that she had to step away from the game and why she feels that the four retirements um, have a connection and specifically a connection with what is happening in the West Indies women's setup. So I would love to hear her elaborate on what she really thinks is going on. Mm. Well, it is rumored that Arsenal is looking at a potential loan agreement for Karim Benzema. Let's see what football fans are saying on X. Yeah. If we allow this to happen, it just tells me everything I need to know about the direction of our club, says Gabby. Madre Knight, the only way they can actually win something is by signing him. If Arteta can't manage Benz's ego, I don't think he's going to be top coach any day. Joe Ben, I hope so, because then Arsenal fans will finally be able to witness what a prodigious attacking talent actually looks like even after he's left his prime. It's sad to say, but Benzema in 2024 would legit raise the level of our club for years to come. Shake my head, Lance Whitaker. Why would Arsenal fans finally be able to witness what a, a genuine attacking player looks like when they've had people like Thierry Henry in their history? I think that's a little um, illogical. 
Yes. <laughs> maybe they are talking about the last the 10 years. Okay, well, maybe they are talking about it the, would have the to now be. generation. Yeah. yeah, it would have to be. Mm. It definitely would have to be. So um, that one is, is a surprise. Yeah. Um, you know who I would love to hear on this? Brent Sancho. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I know he has high regard for Benzema. Yes. And he feels Arsenal needs something. So yes. maybe maybe the next time we talk to Brent, we could get his view on that. Yeah, whether Benzema is actually it is another thing. What? Wow, can you believe it, Lance? It's almost 6 o'clock Jamaica time, 7 yeah. in the Eastern Caribbean. That means it's time for us to go for this week. And if things were different, we would be saying that join Adelaide for some test cricket in another half an hour. <laughs> but, but we but we can't. Lance, did you really bring that up? We're out of well, time. We started the show that way, so we, we can end it that way as well. We're out of time. Enjoy the music.